Since Jurgen Klopp took over at Liverpool, they've become a powerhouse in Europe, breaking their almost 30-year title drought. Behind the scenes, Liverpool made some pretty large investments in state-of-the-art technology. There are two companies that I'll be discussing in this video that Liverpool utilizes for their artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data analytics. The first company is called DeepMind. They're a British data science company. And the second is called Zone 7. They're a Silicon Valley startup that focuses on injury prevention. Many have credited Zone 7 with Liverpool's quadruple run due to the fact that it, that it reduced injury days by 30%. Let's get into it. <laughs> As I mentioned in my intro, there are two companies Liverpool are currently using. I'll start with DeepMind first. DeepMind is a British artificial intelligence research company. It was founded in 2010. It's actually a subsidiary of Google. It began its relationship with Liverpool back in May of 2021. DeepMind is an analytics company that depends on aggregating millions of data points from a single match to provide science-based predictive models. There are three key fields in which their models are based, game theory, statistical learning, and computer vision. Within game theory, there are three main components, and that is game analysis, penalty kicks, and set pieces. Within statistical learning, there's predictive modeling, value action by probability, expected possession value, and other areas. But those are some of the main components. Within computer vision, it's based on event detection, activity recognition, and video models. Now, when we break those down further, game theory scenarios can actually be modeled as zero-sum games. This is used in situations like penalty kicks where you have three choices, right, left, or down the middle. The models have identified trends where players like to shoot the ball and provide insight to goalkeepers on where to go. These models can provide a goalkeeper with science-based data on where a potential player might place his penalty before a game kicks off. Statistical learning is one of the most exciting yet underdeveloped areas in football. This provides a information summary on the behavior of a player. So in theory, it could be combined with game theory. The model can provide insight by analyzing key situations of a game and how they might have played out differently. These models also bear potential in predicting the implication of a tactical change, a player's injury or substitution, or, or even that of the opposition. In this example, you'll see a predictive modeling case used to provide sequential predictive trajectory models. Lastly, the use of computer vision is one of the most promising tools that Liverpool uses. It detects events by video. As a result of that, it generates visualizations that could help coaches and analysts better understand the game. The algorithm identifies players, tracks their movements, and detects player patterns. This involves computer vision to analyze past games and extract relevant features such as a player's position and movement and ball trajectory. To summarize all this, what does it actually mean? It means that through these solutions, Jurgen Klopp can use these tools in match insights from deep mind and make strategic decisions that could affect the outcome of a game. An example of this could be the system detects a particular player underperforming. The manager can then pick them off or change the team's shape. Another key partner of Liverpool's is Zone 7. Many attributed Liverpool's quadruple run to Zone 7, having Injuries to key players is one of the biggest pitfalls to not competing for big trophies later in the season. And when they partnered with Zone 7, their injuries were reduced by more than 30%. Now here are three ways they did this. Number one, reducing player fatigue. Zone 7's artificial intelligence te technology can identify when a player is at risk of becoming fatigued based on their workload, sleep patterns, and other factors. Without this technology, Liverpool's coaching staff might not have been aware of a player's fatigue levels, which could have led to an increased risk of injuries such as a muscle strain or ligament tears. Two, overtraining. Zone 7's system can identify when a player is overtrained, which can lead to a higher risk of injury. Without this technology, Liverpool's coaching staff might have unknowingly pushed the player too hard, causing them to suffer from overuse injuries like stress factors or tendonitis. Three, muscle imbalances. Zone 7 system can detect when a player has a muscle imbalance that could lead to injury. 
For example, if a player has a weaker hamstring muscle on one leg, they may be at higher risk of suffering from a hamstring strain. Without Zone 7's technology, this risk factor may not have been identified, potentially leading to an injury. The need for AI tools such as DeepMind and Zone 7 is critical for Liverpool's success because they enable the team to make data-driven decisions that can help prevent injuries, improve player performance, and ultimately lead to better outcomes on the pitch. These AI technologies allow Liverpool to monitor and analyze player data, identify playing patterns, potential injury risks, statistical odds, and provide personalized recommendations to each player. Now, I know there are some who are saying Liverpool's dropped off the season from last and how effective are these tools, but you have to understand these tools work in conjunction with great players, great coaching. There's no question Liverpool will need to rebuild their team and with their wanting to go out and get players like Jude Bellingham and others, there's no question they will be back. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button and if you subscribe to my channel, I'll be doing more videos like this and if I get 200 likes on this video, I will be making a part two. Thank you so much for watching.